Guys, hello, hello. Um, hope all are well. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you um, what I take to chemotherapy. Um, on the premise that this might help other people or people might just be interested or whatever. Anyway, um, so I take all my stuff for chemotherapy in my breast unit events believed to achieve bag. Um, these are the ones that Susie and I had made for our first snowball, um, where we raised 17,500 for our local breast unit, um, of which I'm very proud. It's a 30 by 30 centimetre bag, not that that's necessarily very important. Anyway, um, so in terms of what I've got in it, they're saying that I've not actually put this in it, but um, <laughs> what I will normally take is some water. It gets quite hot up at the hospital. Um, they don't have cold water available, which I always find quite amazing. I think that's generally because it's full of old types who drink a lot of tea. Now, I can't drink tea at the moment because it tastes absolutely disgusting. So I haven't had a cup of tea for quite a few weeks and I'm missing it a lot. Um, so, yeah, so I take some water or squash with me in like a 750 or a litre bottle. I usually take some sort of snacks when I say snacks I mean sort of chocolate or cake to be honest um sometimes I'm there for lunch in which case I get lunch provided which um really surprised me because I didn't have that first time around they didn't do that uh, 10 years ago um but otherwise we'll just take snacks like nuts or yeah chocolate bars or um they do give you tea and biscuits so even though I don't have tea I'll often have to ask for a hot water and a packet of bourbons or custard creams standard um then I have my this is my blue folder. Um, everyone going through cancer treatment has a blue folder. It's like, if you get your blue folder, it's like, cancer. Anyway, um, this has all sorts of stuff in it. This is my letter, um, which I need to give to A&E, should I ever have to go to A&E while I'm on chemo, just to let them know what's sort of happening. Um, I've got various different cancer stuff here. My little notebook, which I always write questions in. Um, I always keep my blood forms in here as well. And then I have my um, appointments and stuff all written down in here, of which there are quite a lot, funnily enough. Um, so that is my blue folder. I have customised mine with Wonder Woman, a rainbow and some random stickers. It's like, why wouldn't you? Um, and people know it's mine for a start and it's just not quite as boring as everyone else's. So what else have I got in here? Um, games. Um, things to do. Now, generally, I have to admit, I get really quite tired at chemo because I get pumped with a massive load of Pyroton and um, it sends me to sleep straight away. They give me that to um, make sure that I'm not... Uh, what's the word? I don't have an allergic reaction to the drugs. Um, and But what it tends to do, as soon as it goes in, I just sort of go, mm, I'm quite, quite sleepy. But when I can, we'll play games. So my friend Meredith has just bought me this double. I'm so excited. I, I love things like this. Um, I've played this. I can't remember where I've played it, but um, I do remember really enjoying it. And she's just sent me a care package, which is really sweet. And it happened to have this in it, so which is ace. She also sent me something called Exploding Kittens, which is another game. Um which I'm excited to try and play as well. So I have sort of like things to pass the time. Um, so I also have good old Uno. Who doesn't love Uno? I love it. Well, I know someone who doesn't love it. Jenny Tyler. She doesn't like it. In which case, when she next comes to chemo with me, I'll make sure that we play it. <laughs> that's, that's cruel, isn't it? Good old... So my bag keeps getting in the way. Scrabble. I absolutely love Scrabble. However during chemo I can probably get through about three or four words and then I just start going mm -mm, quite sleepy and then end up just looking at Instagram or something like that instead of actually playing Scrabble but the travel Scrabble comes with us um, also I have got a pack of traditional cards as well I haven't actually got those out yet oh no I have I think I've to maybe to play Patience oh no to play Gin Rummy that was it with Jen she'd never played it before um, so I beat her ha um, and then I think she might have started to beat me once she realised how to play it. Anyway, pack of cards. What else have I got in here? Um, I have then got puzzle books. I, I love a puzzle. I love a puzzle. So, I've got, I mean, how old do I look? This is just so embarrassing. Some of these are really old as well. Um, but I do love a go good old arrow word or a quick crossword. Easy for me to say, quick crossword. Something like that. 
with a pen, obviously. So I um, was doing a lot of arrow words and stuff with my friend Liz when she took me to chemo last week. I also now have um, my clapperboard. Oh, clapperboard bought for me by my friends uh, Penny and Rachel from my choir, um, which as it last week was round 10, this week should be round 11. So that's just so I can take photos and um, show people which week I'm on. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my gosh, sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I used to just take a piece of paper and, and sort of like write it on, but um, I'm really glad that they bought me this for my birthday so I can use that. Um, and that's got some chalk with it. So that's that. Then I have a number of dressings. Underneath this is my pick line. My pick line has given me jip in terms of, yeah, look at the state of my skin. It, well, actually, that's a lie. It's not the pick line. It's, it's the dressings. I've tried all sorts of different dressings. I've tried various different things. I never, ever had sensitive skin before chemotherapy. And it anyway, since going through it, it's just sent my skin completely nuts. So, um, yeah. Um, I have these like special dressings, Tassa dressings, um, but even those still take part of my skin off. So um, what they're now doing is just putting a bandage around it and obviously just cleaning it and trying to keep it as um, sterile as possible. So um, hopefully that will continue. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, in which case I've actually got a bandage from the chemo suite and some tubey grip, which I haven't actually got over the top of the bandage at the minute, and uh, a pair of scissors. Um, bag. Hand gel. So you're massively prone um, or uh, potential for infection when you're going through chemo is quite significant because your immune system is basically knocked out um, because can, uh, chemo kills off the uh, good cells as well as the bad and it just lowers your immune system so your immunity is pretty shit so um i keep numerous ones of these all over the place i've got one in my handbag we take one when we take the dog out um obviously i've got one in my chemo bag yeah they're just they're just everywhere so antibacterial hand gel also on the hand theme oh hello hello also on the hand theme is some hand cream as well, which came in a care package. I think this one was from Laura. Um, so thank you, Laura, for that. Um, so yeah, so that uh, for when my hands are just feeling a bit because they get really dry and stuff like that. Um, and you know, you're using a lot of this. So it's quite nice to have some nice hand gel. Actually, hand gel, hand moisturizer. Um, one thing that I do get at um, chemo, oh, chemo brain. Uh, um, if I'm there at a certain time is a hand or foot massage from a lady from the, I think it's the Tracy Solis Leukemia Trust. Um, and she goes around the chemo ward first and gives hand and, mass, hand and foot massages out there to anyone who wants them. And then she comes to the Rowan Suite, which is where I have my chemotherapy um, and also offers hand and foot massages. Now, not a lot of people take them out, because they're the old types, especially I am lapping it up. So it, it means that my hands generally tend to, God, they look so old. Uh, tend to uh, be a lot softer once she's done it and it's just really sort of like relaxing on the feet as well when she does that so um anyway hand cream and chat about foot massage i also have this which the wonderful girls at stripes beauty in worcester gave to me it's quarterly great water which i put in the fridge before i go to hospital um and um use when i'm there i get hot flushes especially because of the treatment that I'm on. And this is literally just, as it says, great water. So I can just like spritz it on the back of my neck, on the, my face, and it just... Oh, <laughs> what a donkey. I just basically sprayed it on my hand. Um, so yeah, great, well done me. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, I, I use that just to sort of cool down. Um, that's and that's that's really nice. Uh, okay, well, oh, something that's falling apart are these which um, I've had two lots of these now which came in a care package one from my friend Claire and one from my friend Carol um, called Queasy Drops now um, I've been quite lucky touch wood that I haven't had any nausea or vomiting with my chemotherapy um, unlike last time when I did um, however these are quite nice um, just to have as a boiled sweet uh, while I'm sat there in the chemo and actually sometimes when the I think I'm not sure if it's when the steroids go in I can just feel a bit because mm, it brings a taste at the back of my mouth, even though like the 
because the drugs go in through this um, line in my arm, I can still taste it at the, at the back of my mouth. Um, so sometimes it's nice just to have one of these so I don't get that taste, which is quite vile. Um, what else have I got? Oh, back on the heat thing are some of these fans. Now, um, our friend Helen bought, I think, I'm not sure if she bought one for me, Susie and Jen. Maybe it was just me. can't remember. Anyway, last summer from Tiger, uh, the shop Tiger, and these are an absolute godsend. So this year when they, they brought them out again and they're in at the moment because it's summer. Um, Ta-da! <laughs> these fans are absolutely amazing they're small they twist up it took me a while to work out how to do that you should have seen my mum last week she literally just like went bong and it was just flying all around the chemo ward not last week week before um so those are great i now have those in various different bags and handbags and things to try and keep cool um not long to go now in fact i'm not sure if that's pretty much it um i have some uh, a couple of a couple more things, some tissues which you don't need to see, um, some cream which they gave me which I can use to put on my dry skin on my arm because it's so painful, um, a lip balm, and um, this which is from This Works which uh, my friend Janica bought for me as part of my birthday present I think. So you just put this sort of like on your pulse points or like around your head or around your wrists and it smells of lavender and it's just sort of like really calming and nice and that's really lovely um and then finally i have stickers so my friend Gemma got some of these for me um various different unicorn and uh things like that which say i am great i am fab oh, obviously stuff like that and then ones which i love and um i have given to various people as well as myself so we have She-Ra, Princess of Power, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, Pocahontas, which was actually my nickname um, during my first year at university um, because I basically had long dark hair and olive skin, so they used to call me Pocahontas. Um, who else? And I think we've got, oh, Lara Croft, Supergirl, Batwoman? That is, Batwoman, is that a thing? I don't know looks like it is um and i think those are it so um often i'll just like treat myself to one of those afterwards so those are the things that i take to chemo as well as um i do tend to take a handbag as well ridiculous like with my phone in it and you know stuff like that um i hope that was useful insightful um and yeah so that's it for now um i will see you all soon much love goodbye